Jamaican-born, Atlanta-based set designer Yolanda Haim has worked on a number of noteworthy productions. So great to talk to her this morning as she zooms in to tell us about the creative process behind her work on the recently released Marvel movie, Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. Good morning, Yolanda. Good morning, Jamila. How are you doing? I am good. Jamila is the producer, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'm Dahlia, and it's, it's awesome Dahlia. to meet you. Yes, awesome to meet you. Um, tell me a little bit, Yolanda, about your journey into set designing. Were you always a set designer? Um, no, I actually worked in corporate America for a long time, mm -hmm. but after the 2008 crash, as many people, I was laid off and, and I decided to go back to my childhood passions around storytelling and go back to school and, and get some training. So. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Because I mean, I mean, a lot of people, something like that happens and they just never know where to go, where to turn. But 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 it steered you in the right direction. It steered you towards your passion and your purpose. Tell me yes. a little bit about so so so. So you said as a child, you knew this was something you wanted to do. Yes, I was always curious about um, the process of movie making and how they, you know, how they ended up with these big, fantastical sets. But I had no one in my social circle that knew how these things were made. So um, I, um, I just had to wait until I was able to facilitate that building that network on my own uh, mm -hmm. to make those dreams happen. Yeah, I mean, we started with saying because what kind of forever is such a huge production, but but right. but it must have been a path to get there. I mean, Marvel just doesn't employ anyone to do their set. <laughs> so so what what was the journey like for you? Where did it start? Did you do stage first and then film? I never did. Well, I did a few small stage things, but mm -hmm. um, I never did stage on the big uh, level. Mm -hmm. Really, it was starting out as a production assistant um, oh. and working my way up, learning what all the different positions were within the film industry and how um, movies were put together. And gradually, I found my my lane, which was a good mix of my technical background and you know how I like to work. I would say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it is it is it almost like designing? The same principle as if you're designing a home? It is. I would say it has its roots in theater, right? So you start with the theatrical flat. Um, but the difference is that what you do to the front face that, that faces the camera, right? It's a lot more detail. You add real hardware and real, um, real materials in order yeah. to sell it to yeah. um, the environment. So it's... Um, it gets a little more detail, and in the case of Wakanda that you're showing right now, you waterproof everything, right? So it, goes, yes. <laughs> it, all, it all is submerged. And you would think that most of this is actually CGI, but we built nearly everything that you see what? here. What? <laughs> no, that was a massive undertaking. Listen, Yolanda, I've tried to build a set because I do theater in a, in a very small space. And I, and I think I'm going to go crazy. So I'm thinking as a set designer, <laughs> what's the construction process like? Do you have to go on set and say, no, that's not what I want to see? Um, well, you know, it starts with our production designer, in this case, Tanner Beechler, um, who had a very strong vision about what the, the place where the story takes place, right? Yeah. So we start out with an image, uh, at least um, the illustrators come in and give us a, a, a feel, a painting of what the environment is gonna look like. Uh -huh. And then that's where I come in. I basically say, okay, here's this great image, but what are we gonna build of this set? Yeah. <laughs> Me and the, the art director going, you know, uh, where does it need to go? Is it on a stage? Is it in the environment, so out in location someplace? How much of it do we need to build? How, what can we afford to build? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yes, as you mentioned, um, it, after the construction process happens, there's, there's conversations that happen about, um, you know, can we have, can we make it in this way so the action happens um, in, in a certain manner? Yeah. Um, and you know you have you work through all those constraints and you keep layering graphics and um, set dressing and, and things on it on top until it builds the world that you want. Yeah, it, wow, it's it, I'm fascinated by it because you know a lot of people go to the movies and they see it but they never they never understand the process in putting it together. Um, and, and that while actors are learning lines, you you guys have been doing this like months and maybe years. Yes, <laughs> maybe, <not>. yes, years. <laughs> years, years, years. It, it's so, so, so for those young people who are watching now and, and they're saying, you know, I want to be involved in the film industry, but they never thought 
of set design, what would you say to them this morning? Um, I would say it's very important, first of all, for everyone to get have the tools to tell their own stories. Yeah. But I feel as if um, we already in this age of social media and uh, Google University <laughs> and YouTube TV, you know, yeah. uh, we have the ability to find the resources and the, the skill sets in order to make those dreams happen. So I think it's more important for you to develop um, your own particular voice in terms of what you think film should be. That mm -hmm. means on the island, you know, in the parish, in the location, what is a story that can't be told anywhere else? Yeah. And that's the thing you need to focus on, that muscle memory about what it means for you to be a creative. And then the tools and the techniques will follow that. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at, at, at just a small part of your, yes. your resume. <laughs> um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, Aretha, it's major films, but, but they're so diverse. Do, do you yes. approach them, dif how do you approach them differently? Um, it really starts from, you know, your design intent. I yeah. think you have to be open to the, what the research tells you is appropriate for the story. Mm -hmm. um, and then what your knowledge of what has worked and not worked in the past. And then you have to be willing to collaborate with people. This is not a solo enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> there are hundreds of people that come on board to help give you constraints and to mold and flex the idea that you have until it works for the screen. Do you do you read the script? Yes. Oh. Yes. I usually get on on Wakanda, for instance. You only get little snippets of things because Marvel's like lockdown. <laughs> But you do get an essence of what is happening in order because you need it for context, right? Yeah. To build what you're you're building. Um, but on smaller shows, I do get the script ahead of time, and so I have an idea of what types of things I'm going to build. Like for instance, um, for the founder, we built exterior McDonald's stage sets, mm -hmm. and I had never built a commercial kitchen before, so I was like, <laughs> okay, let me. <laughs> What is this? Let me figure out how to do this real fast. <laughs> um, you know, so it's it's about experimentation and willing to learn and having discernment about what works and what doesn't work in this process. Well, Yalan, your resume speaks for yourself. The fact that you've been able to work on these major films says so much, not just about your talent, but about your professionalism. And so Thank we are you. proud to say, hey, she have like a Jamaican in her. What's your Jamaican right. roots? Not a little, a lot. I was born on the island. I went See, to school then no, down there. <laughs> See, then no, what school did you go to? So I went to Stella Mars first oh. and then um, Immaculate. So, you know, oh. I did some formative years down there. I, I know the island well enough. <laughs> no, man, you're a real Jamaican girl, man. No, so proud. No, I told someone that if we accessed all the film talent of our Jamaicans in the diaspora, we'd be amazed at just how much resources we have as a country. And that's something it's true. And that's something yeah. we need to do. Reach out to our people and get some mm -hmm. work done. So yeah. awesome to meet you. Oh great to meet you as well. <laughs> and my set designers this morning just said, yes, Dalia, we need the script. <laughs> we argue about that all the time. Why do you, you need know, at least the treatment? At least the treatment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. I, Yolan says it's some with it. <laughs> Thank you so much for speak awesome work. Now when we all go to the movies and watch Wakanda Forever, we say, eh, look at Yolan's work. <laughs> all right, Yolan, have an awesome day. You great. Have a great day as well. And thank you for having me. Set designer of Black Panther 2 and so much more. Jamaican, Yolan Tame. Look at that. We'll soon come back. Coming up after the break, we talk more with the executive director of Jamaicans for Justice, Mikhail Jackson. <laughs>